Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will go through the 17 problem from August Lead Coding Challenge. Distribute candies to people. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. We distribute some number of candies to a row of n people in the following way. We then give one candy to the first person, two candies to the second person and so on till we give n candies to the last person. Then we go back to the start of the row giving n plus 1 candies to the first person, n plus 2 candies to the second person and so on until we give 2 into n candies to the last person. This process repeats until we run out of candies. The last person will receive all of our remaining candies. Written an array of length number of people that represents the final distribution of candies. Here are two examples. For the first one we can see that there are 4 people and 7 candies. We start to give candies as 1 to 1st, 2 to 2nd, 3 to 3rd, but as we come to 4th, we are left with just one candy. However, we were to give him 4. Since there is no enough candy left, we give him all the candies, which is 1. Similarly, for example, 2. We start with 1 candy, then 2, and then 3, and then come back to the first one and give him 4. After this, we run out of candy, so we stop. If you plot the distribution in separate rows, the number of candies to be given to each person would be shown as in this table. Now let's take an example where we have 12 candies and 3 people. Let's create a table something like what we showed to understand. However, in the solution we can update the same array. Starting with the first person, we will check the number of candies and candies we need to give. If we have enough candies, we give the candies using the calculation, otherwise we give all the candies. If we write down an equation for this, the number of candies we give is equal to the minimum of candies left or i plus 1. In this case, we give 1 candy to person 1. Once we have given the candies, we need to update the candies remaining with us. So that becomes candies minus i plus 1. As we move ahead, i now becomes 1. The number of candies we can give person 2 is minimum of 11 and 2 which is 2. So the candies with person 2 becomes 2 and the candies remaining becomes 9. We keep distributing the candies in this fashion. As we come to person 2 for the second time, we need to give him 5 candies, but we are just left with 2, so we have to give him 2 candies and update the candies. Now, as the candies become less than 0, we stop distributing the candies. The number of candies each person has is the sum of the columns. So person 1 has 5 candies, person 2 has 4 and person 3 has 3 candies. This is the final result that we need to return. We initialize the result array of size number of people. We loop from i equal to 0 while we have candies. We update the result array for i mod number of people with minimum of candies or i plus 1 and then update the candies left. At the end we return the result array. As the number of candies can go up to 10 raised to 9, in worst case time complexity becomes O of C where C is the number of candies and the space complexity is O of N to store the result. Here is the actual code snippet for this approach. You can also find a link to this code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.